If you're looking for a 5K, 15K grant, 20K grant, or a 25K grant, uh, you're going to want to check out this video because I want to share with you a couple of the grants that I've been able to get with and find. I'm going to show you how to find it your own self. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you the tools to do that in about in a couple of moments. But first, uh, what I do is I help. And the reason why I'm doing all these grant videos, and it's because I have clients in different areas of the country. Missouri, Michigan, California, Georgia, here in Arizona. And I help them out by, hey, let's look at trying to get some additional funds so we can support your business, so we can do more things with technology and automation and, and being able to use AI to stretch those dollars to let's lower those overall operational costs. So that's why I do this. I do it for the clients that I'm working with. I do it for the small business owners who are service driven business owners. And so what does that mean? So most of the businesses that I work with are service providers uh, like that have our coaches that have the need to have a physical location or they have multiple employees. So I just talked to, I have a fitness gym that I was talking to that has five locations and we're looking at automating their entire um, business, you know, with artificial intelligence, machine learning, and making sure that they're more streamlined. And the opportunity is, hey, there's funds that are available that are grants that are in the local community that you can apply for. There's hard ones like the Hello Alice or the LISC grants that are available, but the best ones that are from your local economic uh, development programs, your score offices. And I'll show you, I should show you that as well of how to use that those resources that are in your local community that are available for you. But you know one thing that if you're looking for the Governor Gavin Newsom, so our friends to the west of us here in Arizona and California just shut down uh, their uh, folks again. And so I want to thank the good folks at StreamYard uh, for being able to provide this great tool that I'm using now because I used to use Loom to record all my videos, but now I'm using the StreamYard. It's, it's much clearer and better. But first, they just uh, suspended outdoor dining for California. So the restaurants open up and now they're going to go ahead and close back down. And they're talking about there's a 20. 5k grant that they're going to be um, distributing with because it's going to be a 500 million dollar fund right for small businesses and i was looking for that i was like all right great you're going to be doing that where are the links where's the links and i couldn't find the link at all and it makes it a little bit larger for you and i fi i figured out why and so i found this article and i'm going to show you how to get these articles sent to your email box so I'm going to show you how to have grants, business opportunities, leads for your business to go into your email box. But I was looking for this grant information they're talking about. So you just shut down California. So and with this new emergency measure that you just outlined, and then they're talking about a $500 million grant. And so I'm looking at this article. I'm like, I don't see the link to the grant. And I slowed down, took my time and started reading a little bit and I, and I figured out why. Well, the reason why is deep inside of this article that they said that the, the grant and the funds aren't going to be available until next year. And so I'm like, wow, where in the world is that? So I went over to another email that I received from, and then let me make this a little bit larger for you. So if you're looking for that 25K grant, and I found it right here because I could not find the link to provide in the description section, it is the California's new $500 million COVID relief grant program for small businesses impacted by the pandemic. The program would provide grants of up to 25K, and let me make this even bigger for you, 25K to small businesses and nonprofits. The, here's, a, here's the next line that I found. The funds 
well, the funds would be distributed through community development financial institutions and could arrive by early next year. So they want you to go ahead and uh, shut down now, but provide you the 25K grant uh, for January or sometime next year. Didn't say when, just sometime next year. That's going to make it difficult. So they did provide and have the links in the description section below and give this a thumbs up if this information is helpful for you, especially if you're in California. I know it's helpful for my clients who are in California, but if you're in California, small business owner, and you're looking for great information from a resource that is helpful, like myself and my team, go ahead and give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel um, because um, I want to have some great things for those individuals who do subscribe here in a moment. But the Main Street Small Business Credit. So I'm going to have that link in the description section below. You can read it and go through it. But it says here that the, the Main please note that this credit only applies to California small businesses that meet the following qualifications. Employed 100 or fewer employees as of December 31st, 2019 suffered a 50% decrease or more in income tax gross receipts, generally all income less returns and allowances when comparing to the second quarter of 2020 to the second quarter of 2019. So what does all that mean? It, it means basically you better have all of your, your ducks in a row from your taxes, from your finances are concerned, which you should if as a service-based, a service-driven small business. You should have that all available, but I was talking to a client today uh, and they're talking about switching banks because the, from a credit union to a bank, because last time when funds were coming out, their credit union was not a part of the program. So they went to now a more traditional bank to be able to start getting these funds or getting access even because yes, the grants and the funds might be there, but there's those entrepreneurs of color that might not even get access to some of these uh, grants, these funds that are available because of where if they're unbanked or they need to change different banks. So we're going to have different resources in the description section below, but make sure you give a thumbs up if you like this information, if this is helpful for you. But for my clients who are in Michigan, uh, here's one that's available for you because this is the Michigan Economic development corporation and so they are going to have a grant available coming up and that's going to be on december 15th so this small business grant is going to be available on december 15th so the opportunity for you to be able to find out let me make this bigger for you and so this is michigan governor gretchen whitmer and uh, she is going to she has announced that the availability of grants of, for small businesses who have been impacted. And this grants is going to be available. And this one, I appreciate it when it has a link. It's going to be available from the, right here's a link, the michiganbusiness.org uh, relief. So when I click that link here, it opens up to the Pure Michigan Small Business Relief Initiative. So applications for those Michigan small businesses are going to open on December 15th, 2020. So make sure you put this in your calendar to get up early in the morning and to apply because here's the allocation amounts to those individuals and they're broken down into regions and each region is going to have its own allocation of funds. So make sure that you apply early for the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. So as you can see that there are funds available, $1.3 million in region four, which is going to be 900,000 in region nine. Region 10 it receives 3.5 million of funds allocated to them. So there's going to be funds available to them for small business grants. So make sure that on December 15th, you wake up early, mark your calendar if you're a Michigan small business. So this is an opportunity that is for you. And if you're especially in these regions, you'll see how much is available. And it's going to be for those 
And here's where I help businesses because you're talking about work, working capital needs include payroll expenses, rent, mortgage, utility expenses in the following industries. And you can also use the funds for technology resources. And the reason for that, especially for utility expenses, is there's tools that uh, my team has available and offered to small businesses to, to help them uh, manage or even see if we can lower your utility expenses and also to see if we can lower some of your technology expenses or reallocate them to something that is better for you. Uh, we just partnered with uh, an individual by the name of Neil Patel, and he's going to do this month a uh, discounted for his marketing services. So if you're interested in something like that, go ahead and set up a time to, to connect with myself so if you need some more digital marketing assistance, um, some search engine optimization for your website to reach more customers, uh, go ahead and click on, have a planning session with me in the link below. But what we're looking at here is if you are a restaurant, you know, restaurant, um, bars, food, beverage services, travel, um, tourism destination, live event venues, movie theaters, all of these individuals, um, industries have the ability to go ahead and apply on December 15th for the Michigan Economic Development Corporation's Fund. And what's great about this, and I was talking to someone, that this these Federal CARES Act dollars, so they are sitting on a, a lot more money and a lot more funds that are available for those for these businesses and they have to utilize all these funds by the end of the year. So they don't have a much time to be able to utilize that. So for you, what you want to do is make sure that you're getting these small business grants sent to you. So I'm going to show you my email box. So and I'm going to, I, I'm going to make it even clearer for you to see that. So I have Google alerts set up for me and you, these are all Google alerts. I'm not going to get too close to the, my email, but oh, what the heck? I'm going to just go to show you. So look at this. So here's all the Google alerts that I receive, um, and I have it all set up in this automation. So I use the automation that's available through Google to be able to send me all of the Google alerts and the errors that I'm interested in. And so one of the things that I also do, and there are hundreds of them that are sent to me automatically. And so, for example, I'm going to go ahead and open up one for you here that just came up. So this is the and so what you want to do as well is not always look for small business grants. There's a term that you should also look up and it's called relief. So like small business relief. And so here. So I just received this one. Um, a couple hours ago, and Houston City Council approves $10 million to boost small business economic relief programs. So if you're in Texas, another area that I serve, uh, you can go ahead and see that I'm, I'm going to receive this, this link to this resource here. So it pulls information, Google Alerts pulls information from any news source and then emails it to me automatically. So I have these robots doing the work for me, so I don't have to do that. So the Houston City Council approved 10 million to boost small business economic relief program. So you need to also look for economic relief programs. So there's the local programs that are available to individuals. And look here, once again, the money will come from the CARES Act 2020 fund. So they're sitting on a lot of funds that available and will bring in a total money set aside for the program of $35 million. Like, where was these funds when you needed them? So the opportunity for you. So grant recipients, let me make this bigger because you probably can't see this. Grant recipients include micro businesses with five or fewer employees who did not receive any financial assistance from other relief programs, such as a paycheck protection program or the economic injury disaster loan. So if you have five or fewer employees in your micro business, you have the ability to go ahead and apply for this fund that's available from the Houston. So then what I look for is, all right, great. Where is the link? Where is the link? And I don't see the link. And this is often the case is that you don't find the link 
to the specific applications inside of these news organizations, you have to hunt it down. So what I'm going to do is um, after I stop this recording, uh, we'll go ahead and hunt it down and then put it in the description section. So this is what I do to support local is as a business technology advisor and it's being able to find out what technology resources that are available to help serve small businesses um, like Thrive, for example, is a software that helps those service driven businesses to help with their customer experience and then provide an integration of, all right, what can we do to help grow your business through integrating your phone systems, through integrating a chat bots to be able to automate the whole process of serving more individuals while you sleep to be able to go online and market yourself from a search engine optimization standpoint, like our new partnership with Neil Patel and his team to be able to grow your business. And so as a technology broker, I put all things together and then be able to say, all right, let's roll this thing out for you and make things happen so we can pivot, ramp up and finish strong. 